this video let's learn about the histology of the pituitary gland the pituitary gland is also called as hypophysis cerebri it is suspended from the floor of the third ventricle by a stalk that is narrow and funnel shaped and it is called as the infundibulum and it lies in a depression on the upper surface of the sphenoid bone that is called as the stella turcica the hypophysis cerebri or the pituitary gland is one of the most important endocrine gland and it produces several hormones and it is also referred as the master endocrine gland and the pituitary gland is divided into three parts that is the anterior part that is called as pars anterior the intermediate part that is called as the pars intermedia and a posterior part that is called as the pars posterior or the pars nervosa and the main point to remember the pars anterior is also called as adenohypophysis whereas the pars posterior is called as neurohypophysis and the pars posterior is also called as pars nervosa remember the pars anterior is very cellular the pars intermedia is variable in structure we will talk about it here and the pars posterior consists of fibers and it is lightly stained now let's talk about the pars anterior first as it is the first division of the pituitary gland the pars anterior the pars anterior consists of cords of the cells those are separated by the fenestrated sinusoids and several types of cells responsible for different types of hormones are present in this pars anterior so in this diagram from here to here is the pars anterior so the pars anterior consists of groups or cords of the cells and what are the cells present in the pars anterior those are of three types the first type of cells are called as the acidophils or the alpha cells the second type of cells are called as basophils or the beta cells and the third type of cells are called as chromophobe cells so in this diagram the pink staining cells are called as the acidophils or the alpha cells so so this is the pink staining cell and so on these are called as the acidophils or the alpha cells the cells with the bluish cytoplasm so the cells like this are called as basophils or the beta cells in the cells in the cytoplasm which nuclei are present and the cells are not stained are called as the chromophobe cells so these cells are the chromophobe cells and in between the group of these cells we can see the presence of numerous sinusoids or the spaces so these are the spaces and you can note the presence of the capillaries here this is the capillary and remember in these acidophils there are many types of cells like somatotrophs that produce the growth hormone in the stomatotrophin and the mammotrophs or the lactotrophs which produce the mammotrophin or prolactin hormone also comes in the category of these acidophils and coming to the cells in the basophil category these are the corticotrophs which stimulates the secretion of the hormones of the adrenal cortex and the thyrotropes are also the basophil cells the thyrotropes are the cells which produce the thyrotropic hormone or the TSH and the gonadotrope type of cells are also a basophil type of cells the gonadotrophs are nothing but they produce the main hormones like the FSH and the luteinizing hormone and the chromophobe cells that is the third type of cells of the pituitary gland these cells do not stain darkly as you can see it here and they contain very few granules in their cytoplasm and now coming to the pars intermedia before going to the pars intermedia we should remember there is a pars tuberalis in between it is not much studied as it consists of many undifferentiated cells some are acidophil cells and some are basophil cells you just remember it the another type is the pars tuberalis and now coming to the pars intermedia this region constitutes the pars intermedia 
In the pars intermedia, you can see the presence of colloid filled vesicles. In these vesicles are the remnants of the rat case pouch. The rat case pouch, you will learn about it in embryology or the development of the pituitary gland. It is known as the hypophyseal diverticulum and it is an ectodermal outpouching. So these are the colloid filled vesicles. And remember it, these are the remnants of the pouch of rat K. For now, remember the rat K's pouch or the pouch of rat K is an ectodermal outpouching of the stomatoderm which mainly form the adenohypophysis of the pituitary gland. So you can see the filling of the colloid inside this follicle. These are the colloid filled follicles which are found in the pars intermedia. The pars intermedia is poorly developed in the human pituitary gland. The beta cells and other secretory cells with the chromophobe cells are present sometimes in this pars intermedia. And remember, some of the cells of the pars intermedia produced melanocyte simulating hormone that is MSH which causes the increased pigmentation of the skin. And some other cells produce ACTH and the endorphins are present in the cytoplasm of these cells. And now coming to the last part that is the neurohypophysis or the pars posterior. It is also called as pars nervosa. So in this diagram, this part constitutes to about pars posterior. The pars posterior mainly consists of fibers which are numerous unmyelinated nerve fibers. These nerve fibers are nothing but numerous unmyelinated nerve fibers which are the axons of the neurons which are located in the hypothalamus above the pituitary gland. So these are the unmyelinated axons. These unmyelinated axons are of the neurons which are located in the hypothalamus. And most of the nerve fibers of this pars posterior arise in the supraoptic and the paraventricular nuclei. And these are situated in between the axons of the supporting cells of a special type of cells called as pituocytes. So remember, the special type of cells are called as pituocytes. And these nucleases are the nucleus of pituocytes. And remember, the pars posterior or the neurohypophysis release two hormones into the blood. Those are the vasopressin and the oxytocin. So guys, this is all about the histology of the pituitary gland. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. And if you want a separate video on the pars anterior, you can write down in the comments below. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.